Hello and good morning in Minecraft. Uh, welcome back to another video. We are back in all the mod seven, and in the last video, you guys saw us make um this mob farm here. You can see I have expanded just a, a wee bit, just just a wee bit. Not a lot. Not a not. Not a lot, honestly. I, I threw a witch spawner in there. We got the blaze spawner running. Um, actually, turn that guy off. I tried. I, I for some reason I thought if he killed, uh, villagers they would drop emeralds. But boy, for some reason these villagers spawn with damn skeletons on their head, and the villagers don't drop anything. And I'm just getting this negative effect. So we're not worried about it. Uh, I got the witches running almost non-stop because we're kind of low on redstone. You see that? That's We're about to hit 600 redstone. We almost have more glass bottles than redstone. We might actually pass. We might have more glass bottles than redstone here in a second. Uh, we got a hell of a lot of uh, blaze rods. Our gold is... Eh, uh, this isn't our actual iron count. This is just whatever we get through here. Um, this is from when I was doing stuff and things. Um, diamonds and netherite. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. I could just boop, flip this on. And these guys spawn like crazy. It's insane. And this just fills up with stuff. So, you can see. We got stuff happening leather you know i don't actually have a thing for that but there we go so i don't leave that one running because that that one honestly clogs up this a lot <laughs> all right next order of business i have a place i'd like to show you guys that uh We'll explain a little bit of stuff that I haven't said, but you might have noticed. If that makes any sense. Let's go. Alright. So, we're coming into the nether, and then we're leaving the nether. When you place an all the, modi, uh, all the mods teleport pad in the nether, it brings you to the other. Now the other, ooh, laggy lag. The other is a whole new dimension that offers a lot of stuff, but a lot of stuff being, we can drop all the way down here and then take this out and then all the other stuff being vibranium. Uh, so it spawns um, 0 to 20 from Y0 to Y20. Um, you can see I, I've been going crazy in here. Um, and also diamonds are like, like really, really good in here. Yes. But there you go. There's, there's one of them. Um, this is how I've been getting vibranium. Uh, I didn't feel like going all over the nether. And, um, this actually turned out to be super fast and easy. You know, you can get like a stack of vibranium within a couple minutes. So, I would like to do this, uh, the other, and we'll go back home. And I'll show you how I process my stuff here in a sec. We're going to, boop, toss that in there. Vibranium, we're gonna, boop, turn this into here. Uh, or into clump, into dust, into dust, and then stop. Yeah. You get, you get the gist. It's really freaking fast. But that's not what we're doing today. I just wanted to show you that because, uh, you know, I, I upgrade all this stuff. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. We're almost there. Anyways, <laughs> uh, what are we at um, ingot count wise? 181. We almost have more vibranium than all the modium. Ain't that some? Gosh. Okay. Uh, you can also see. I didn't get it that long ago, so. 
Ooh, we got an unobtainium nugget. What? What does that do? Absolute Jesus. Absolutely freaking nothing. That's useless. That that doesn't do anything for me. But they just gave us free ingot, so. <clears throat> okay, today's episode. Today's episode is all around my favorite mod, Mechanism. So, what I want to get us into is not only a bigger storage, wireless storage, but also um, unlimited, infinite, free energy. Two of those words mean the same thing. Unlimited and infinite, those are the same thing. But free, free is nice. We love free. And then energy, you know, free energy. Who does not want free energy? Before we get into the free energy, I want to start upgrading our stuff and things. So, let's just create a ton of those real quick. Toss them, forget them. They're in there. Uh, not worried about that one. Reinforced alloy is infused alloy and diamond dust inside of the metallurgic infuser or a basic infusing factory. Now, I don't feel like, um, what's this one? Is this one sending out? I believe it is. I don't feel like using that guy over there. So we are going to, we also need a, a crusher. A crusher. Ah, I don't have lava buckets, do I? Oh, well, we have a crusher over there, I believe. Don't we? One of these is a crusher. Right here. This is a crusher. Oh my gosh. This new jetpack is fast. Okay. Diamonds. If we crush up some diamonds, what do we get? Diamond dust. Oh my god, we don't, oh, oh my, oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, just turn auto-eject off for a second, because I need the damn dust. This is why I wanted to craft another crusher. Did I say crush another crusher? This is why I wanted to craft, craft another crusher. Okay, well, that's doing its thing. Uh, what else do we need? We need infused alloy. I believe we have some. We have 22. That ain't gonna cut it for me. Personally, I want a lot. So, that's redstone and iron. So, redstone. Iron. Wow, we are running low on iron. Uh... What the shit? How about... Yoink! Uh, we'll toss that back there. Nice! That is what we like to see. Diamond dust. Infused alloys. Oh my gosh. We need more diamond dust. Good enough for me. Okay. Now. This guy is our uh, tribute. We're gonna. Elite energy cube him. And then ultimate. What is an ultimate? Ultimate is just a reinforced with the atomic. So how do we get enriched? I'm not looking to crush. I want to see the enriched one. You crush it, and then you enrich it. Crush, enrich. Crush, enrich. Where does this go? Purify, crush, enrich. So crush, enrich. Very confused on this one. Not to mention, we are almost out of that.
What? Ooh, a new machine. Okay, well, I'm happy with the elite. What we're uh, we're gonna throw that boy down. And uh, I want another. I do. I want another one. Another one. Okay. There. And we'll do it over here too. Boom, boom, bam. Wonderful. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Did not expect that one. Um, ultimate control circuit. Damn. So there's a lot of micro crafting that has to go into this one. So, <sighs> osmium, osmium compressor. Redstone and osmium. I, I should have osmium, a lot of it. As for the redstone, I, you know, y'all know. Uh, we can get the speed upgrades for this, yeah? Wait, I should have some, I think. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! This pack has muffle, right? Uh, honestly, I don't know how, how this muffle works. <laughs> I really don't. Oh. Muffle. 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 Okay. We need more redstone. But do you hear that? Because I don't. Uses. No, we want to make this stuff. Oh shit, we're out of confused that way. Um, what do we need this for? Osmium compressor. Oh, damn, we didn't even need the diamond guys. What a dumbass. I'm running out of redstone really, really quick here. Good jigger, good jigger. This is fastest, you know, it's doing its thing. We'd love to see it. Osmium compressor. We also love to see it. Um, Oh, there it is, right in front of my face. Let's 
see the use of this again. Oh, we. So wait. <clears throat> Whoa, so I can't I need a, the crushing wheels to make I guess that's that's powdered. We want refined. Okay. So yeah. You know, I was, I was super confused there for a second. I had no idea what was going on. Um, no, not recipes, uses. We want this, right? Refined obsidian dust. Some more crushed diamond in the in the fuser here. Which the diamonds I'm not I'm not concerned about. We've got plenty of diamonds. Everything else is what I'm concerned about. But this is looking good. think I'm on the right track. I'm sorry for the quietness. I'm I'm focusing. I don't know what osmium looks like. Ugh. That's awful. Ew. That noise was terrible. Okay, what did we need this for again? Everything, pretty much. Um, should we make a second one of these, maybe? Well, what about the actual infusing factory? I think that would probably be the smarter move now. I can go pretty far up this, can I? Hell yeah, elite infusing factory. Also, this is a bottleneck. 
point being able to transfer 256. I have a diamond right here. Ignore that one. Which farm needs to kill them faster? <laughs> Okay, so with a netherite upgrade to that in there, that is now transferring 131,000 FERF a tick. Whatever you call it in this pack, it is now fast, boy. It's fast, boy. So, diamond dust. Gotta load this up. Upgrades, upgrades, get your upgrades. Oh, shit. Mechanism, energy. Okay, whatever. Hey, that's what we like to see. Um, also want to toss some of that in there. What did we need the obsidian for? Oh. Hey, where'd it go? Where are they? Oh, there they are. So, we're doing this all manually right now. We're going to have to do it, um, you know. But, instead of wasting your time, because this video is at 22 minutes already, once I have everything I needed craft, uh, crafted, I'll be back. Alright, after some errors and some stupidity, we're back, and I've crafted a 1, and a 2. Okay, so I actually have no idea how these work. Uh, I should say that now. Uh, usually, I've always used a Tesseract of some sort. But I've noticed everyone else is using these. So, I did want to give it a shot. So, currently, this is my power generation. Just a shit ton of windmills. But... If we toss this guy in here, we want to, what do we want to do, set, um, Nidrin base, right, private, public, and we want to Okay, you can see that that's charging now. And it's pulling all of the power out of the windmills now. And 256 uh, FE a tick. You know, I'm alright with pulling just that amount. <laughs> but, um, you can see this has a 102 million FE buffer. That's, that's pretty noticeable. If we look at this, this one is also 102 million. The problem was we were running out of power. So, how do we fix that? Well, like I was saying earlier, we're going to do the, um, you know, unlimited free power. But to do that, there are some things we need. And I have a list here on my phone. So, we need a farm which I've opted to use a bonsai pot with some undestructible axes. We're just going to toss this stuff in here, right? Um, yeah. Oh, and then I have our 
my ultimate cube. I'm going to toss that right here on the floor. And then we want to input output on every side. Just so I can look down at it and see how much power we have. So we are going to need our farm, which I said is the bonsai pot. We are going to want a oak sapling. I have it floating around here somewhere. Or did I throw it away? Do you see it in there? I don't see it in there. Maybe I didn't get one from cutting the tree out here down. Maybe we'll get it this time. Yep, we definitely got a sapling. So, delete, uh, delete, 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 delete. We just need the saplings. We only need one. Alright, so. We got our farm. We need a crusher. So, here's where we need another crusher. Crusher. One, two, three, four. Um, buckets. Hello. Buckets. Uh, where can we get some lava fast? I think the foundry actually has random lava sources. Yeah. Look at this. Quick and easy. Not even worried about it. Get them in there. Crusher. And we want two. Purely because I wanted a crusher here. So we got our crusher. We will upgrade it, you know, as we go. So we got a crusher. We crush our sapling into biofuel. And then that goes into a reaction chamber Oop, this guy we need an enrichment chamber we need a dynamic tank what's that steel and basic chemical tank we need two of these boys and now we have the pressurized reaction chamber and then we need gas burning generator which we know all too well because we're actually using one already um what other dust did we need i think it was osmium and then i think it also requires iron but Oh, we gambled and lost. Good enough. Yeah. How many of these can we make? Bam. Good enough. We're out of steel. Not good. Not sure how many of these we need. I think we only needed one, but... Okay, and now we set. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We need a water source. Shit. Ink. Hey, water source. All right, so we're going to go downstairs now. Because we want to set this up in one of these rooms. I'm pretty sure I have this one set out already to be our immersive engineering room. So we're not going to worry about it in here. This is too small. We're probably going to do um, that mob, that one mob bar mob in here. Neural networks we're gonna do in here. Um, not sure yet. 
Not sure yet. Uh, yeah, this room looks as good as ever. So. Yep. Good enough. We want our sink, right? What else do we need? Crusher, crusher, crusher. Farm into crusher. So let's actually pick this up. Crusher. We're gonna want our sink up right here. Oh, where the hell's that? How's that place up there? Like what the hell? So our farm goes into our crusher. Our crusher goes into our reaction chamber. Yoink. Mm, reaction chamber goes into our gas burning generator. Yoink. So let's see here. Um, bonsai. Shit, we need a piece of dirt. Well, what better place to get dirt than uh, the ground? Yoink. Really liking this jetpack, but damn, is it just like always just a little too much? Ah, I had dirt in here, didn't I? Oh no. Okay, um, we also need pipes. I really don't have energy pipes, or not energy items. Also, we're going to need to craft a wireless crafter here shortly. I'm getting tired of this. Ah! Oh, we're at a redstone. It should have replenished, right? Oh my god, we're at a redstone. We're going to have to get another witch spawner, by the looks of it. So that one's been struggling. You see, it's pretty damn slow. Um, I'm going to get some redstone up here, in fact. Uh, don't ask. Okay, we are finally back here. Um, just like this. We want to get, uh, you know, stuff and things. Got, we got this going great now. We're going to have to get our chipped workbenches back down. Uh, energy. We want all of these to have energy. Besides that guy. I guess that guy don't need energy. That guy's going to be making the energy, if you get what I'm saying. Um, oh, we need an electrolytic separator as well. This guy is also going to need some power. And fluid. Um, front, we want to input. Think. So we're putting water in here. What makes ethylene water and hydrogen so we want to output blue on the back so gases back output blue dumping and then we're putting hydrogen in there right hydrogen goes into the Pressure reaction chamber. I believe this guy also needs water. Biofuel. Okay. Um, well, no better time than to test this boy out. 
I was gonna say, because that don't work, but I think we need to. Well, I guess not. Hello? There we go. You do have to do that. Okay. We got this boy. This boy needs some speed upgrades. This damn. Biofuel goes into here. Uh-oh. Biofuel into reaction chamber. And this is supposed to make ethylene. Oh, this boy also needs water, it looks like. Oh, this is the wrong page. Murky water. Oh, I guess you can put water in here as well. Oh, yep. Listen to it go. So now it is crafting substrate with a byproduct of ethylene. Which is going to go into here. Gases. Front. Output. Blue. And then... Can we not input? How can we clean this up? You needed energy, so we're giving you that on the bottom. Um, what are we giving you? Uh, hydrogen. Gases back. Blue. Blue is accepting then we need to input gas on the left okay we're inputting hydrogen and then water and then gas We also need more of this. Right. Blue output. Auto eject. Input. We should be able to crush, right? Really? So, does this thing not have like a good byproduct of saplings? Because that was my whole idea. I really could have swore that was a good byproduct. Because I, I have a whole barrel of sapling set up over here, don't I? Oh, I guess this is only 62. That ain't looking good, Chief. However... Lucky for me... I have a whole ass free farm over here. So if we crush down seeds and wheat, verdant sprigs, I guess, into biofuel, that inputs into here, we're getting substrate, which is good, but we want the byproduct of gasoline, which Energy density burns at 11,000 Fe a bucket. But it does not seem to be burning. But let's, um, really? You see, it's going. It's burning. I just have it silenced. 
it's actually filling up fairly decent. I take this away because it's supposed to be um, self-sustaining. Apparently it's, it's not. <laughs> So I'm going to go through, I'm going to reset this back up, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, welcome back. We are finally here, and I'm ready to show this off. Now this can be seen on YouTube in any tutorial whatsoever, but here we go. Holy cow, we're turning that off. So we have our wheat, which is our byproduct going into our crusher, which is then crushing it down into biofuel which is then putting it into our reaction chamber with hydrogen, which we are getting from the electrolytic separator, which you can also get from water. You get water in here and it makes hydrogen and oxygen. And then it pumps the oxygen, or sorry, the hydrogen into this machine, combines it with water, hydrogen, and the biofuel, makes substrate and uh, ethylene, which then burns it, which I said earlier, the energy density is 11,000 a bucket. And we currently have, I think that's three and a half buckets. And it's going up while burning, but also while running. So, I mean, I'm going to keep going with this. I'm going to um, install the speed upgrades, the energy upgrades. Um, we don't have to worry about muffling upgrades because we'll just go in here and find it. Uh, micro mechanism generators muffle 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 that one too even though it's not here and uh, we have the sink pulling water putting it into here and here and then we have the power cables running under here uh, power cable power cable power cable up and it's supplying this it's also it's drawing from this because it's getting the, f the ethylene from here so it's pulling it right out the back, burning it. This is a very easy setup and can be scaled to, you know, oblivion. It's insane. I can re I can literally repeat this right here if I wanted to, and I might. I might just do that. But, um... The substrate, I actually don't know what this is used for. Let's see. You throw this in the chamber with ethylene and oxygen and you get the HDPE pellet which can be made into the sheets which is used for some pretty cool stuff apparently so yeah But yeah, we're done with this now. This is done. This is fully automated, fully set up, doing its own thing. Um, gonna put this guy back in here. Boop. Um, so we want to uh seven hundred eighty six thousand thirty two thousand. We're gonna. Yeah, that's looking a little better. Do, 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 do. I have no idea how long this video ran. Truly sorry. It's all that. All that for this little setup here. But, um. Look at all this free wheat over here. You know what I'm saying? We need to somehow turn this wheat field into, um. A fully automatic wheat field. And this alone will supply all of the power within our base. Oh, man, even this one could. So I was reading online that a 9x9 nine nine carrot field is enough, uh, produces enough to keep all of it powered. Now, obviously, uh, you know, 11,000 fe a tick isn't a lot but when you combine that with the windmills and you know all the other stuff going on i i bet you it's pretty it's pretty fast so i'm gonna get going with the upgrades but i'm gonna end the video here 
you know, if you guys did enjoy, be sure to leave a like and smash that, uh, like, <laughs> uh, subscribe, uh, comment down below what other powers you would like to see me do. So I was confused about this room here, but it, I don't have to be confused. Would I've never seen a deep resonance reactor. If I would imagine, I could probably squeeze one in this room, right? Uh, this room, I really don't know. We might, uh, I don't know, evil craft, maybe? I, I don't know. I can't say. But I am happy with this. I'm going to flip this here, too. I'm going to, I might shift this whole thing over a block and then do another one here. Maybe here and here. And then we'll have it come together in the center to feed this ultimate energy cube. I like that idea. It's a good idea. And from here, we're going to take this and go whack. And then... Yeah, I like, I like the way that... Uh, I like that. I like that idea. I do, I do, I do. But it's weird this isn't being filled by this. What? Oh. Wow, that was instant. So it instantly charged that, but it's recharging through the windmills. That's pretty cool. Or we can just... Should it, shouldn't it charge through here now? I think so. Regardless. All right, keep it up here. That is the plan. Other than that, guys, you know, I hope you did enjoy, and I will catch you in the next video. Peace. All right, guys. So I've been playing around a little bit. And this is the final product. So I did, I took the same thing we had here and just, you know, I multiplied it. <laughs> um, I upgraded everything, so it's all fast as shit. Uh, each has two gas burning generators each, which we can really push to a third if we wanted to, or even a fourth, like make a second floor of just gas burning generators. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But, um, I mean, we're producing more ethylene than we can burn. Uh, everything's keeping up fantastically. So, I think in the next episode, we're just going to have to start getting stuff. Um, we're just going to have to start using some of this power. And I think the perfect example would be something along the lines of a quarry. Or we can jump straight to a, where is it? There it is, a chunk destroyer. We would have to kill the wither and the ender dragon. So maybe instead of the quarry, we'll, we're going to we'll kill the wither and the dragon, but get into a hostile neural network. With this mod, we'll be able to farm, gosh, so much stuff. So, let's see here. Uses. So, with the nether one, we can do blaze powder, gold, you know, the list goes on and on. There's just a lot of stuff that can be done with it. So I'm I'm really excited. This is what that's definitely one of my top mods from last season. Just because of the usage of it. It's great. But um I did want to update you guys and show you that. And yeah, I'll cut it there and I'll see you guys in the next video.